If you're looking for more information on the Truity career test and a review on that test, stick around for this video. We're going to talk about that. Hey guys, Jordan here, author and destiny catalyzer. I help people discover their purpose with the power of self-discovery. Now, one more tool that we're gonna talk about today is the Trudy Career Test. I'm going to take that test for you. We're gonna have a look at the results and we're gonna to talk together about how it can help you figure out your life purpose and think about your career. The link to this test is down in the description for this video. Um, click on that link, take the test yourself, but otherwise follow along and we're gonna talk through the test and the results. I'm not gonna go through the whole test. We'll fast forward through me taking the test after the first couple questions and then we'll check in with the results. Like most tests, you have a dislike, neutral, and like. Sometimes you'll see strongly disagree and strongly agree. Kind of all means the same thing. The box between the neutral and like here is, you know, you can consider it sort of like or sort of dislike, I think, for this test. So as you go, that's gonna ask you specific career-related questions and just answer those as honestly as you can. All right, I will note here that halfway through the test, or maybe this is at the end of the test, uh, it jumps in and asks you different questions, and th these are more personality related, uh, potentially to match your personality with a career, because Truity is like a personality uh, test website, so maybe they're gonna add some things in there. So I'm not sure what this is gonna look like, but just be ready for the change. And yet another different section as you go through here, uh, just one word and how that word describes you, whether it's ac inaccurate or accurate. All right, guys, here are my results for the Truity Career Test. We're gonna talk a little bit about the results and I wanna just give my thoughts and a review of it. Now, on the screen, there was a little button that said buy it for $19. I did that so I could review the full test for you. Uh, at, if you do not buy it, it does give you some good information. Uh, I'm gonna share right away that most of these tests, I don't think you need to buy, but I wanted to do it so I could give you a behind the scenes look at what you get. Uh, if you take the test and if you want to go a little bit deeper. Um, so you can see, so you can see, you can take the test for yourself. You can look at uh, what the free results are and this is gonna be the uh, paid results for, for 19, so not too bad. We're gonna scroll slowly through here just so you can see everything. Per career personality type, I think that's kinda cool. I have not seen anything else that lists career personality type. So I've not seen this before. You're a persuasive idealist. I think that's interesting. Uh, very interesting that that uh, popped up for me and I'll share right off the bat as I share in all these videos make sure especially with personality stuff maybe not so much with career stuff but it could be true too make sure you're judging it and basing it off of what you already know about yourself and what other tests and things have said about you if you take a test and it's completely you know wrong or or off off the chain as far as the results um, it may not be that impactful to you. I'm sure you could learn things from it, but right off the bat, make sure you're doing that. Make sure you're judging it based on what you already know uh, about yourself. There's no test online that can that can tell you what you already know about yourself to be true and what other people close to you know uh, about yourself, about you. Those are the most two most important things that you can start with. These are just super helpful to just get more language and more ideas, and especially with a test like this, more career options. So persuasive idealist, you can read through that if you'd like. How you think and solve problems, humanitarian. I think this is specific to potential jobs and careers, uh, driven to make the world a better place, creative and imaginative. imaginative. Ooh, uh, I can see this in myself. I think persuasive is a little bit interesting for me only because I don't generally feel that um, I'm all that persuasive. Uh, but sometimes these tests drive things out of you um, that you know maybe you don't want to admit too. So that's that's another thing to consider. But yeah, I'm questionable on that. We'll look through here and see the rest of these things just for me. How you get moted dutiful? Ooh, so again, uh, I see this word and I see this written here uh, and I look at, oh man, is this really accurate towards me? I uh, definitely question that. I don't know if I'm, maybe, maybe this is a deeper sense of duty. Uh, maybe it's a spiritual um, sense of, you know, purpose and things like that. Uh, I can see that. Um, yeah, it's just an, even when work is unexciting. I, I have a hard time when work is unexciting, but 
maybe and he's dutiful and ambitious are pretty close. Yeah, motivated by achievement, definitely can see that as my lowest here. And yeah, casual, I don't, I'm not those either. So maybe, maybe a mix of these two, dutiful and ambitious, depending on how they define that. I really like how they list the things here. So this is for the full results. I think this is cool. I think these are very memorable. Uh, and I could see myself referring back to this and using this to build 90 day plans and to really make sure I know, you know, uh, that I'm considering all my options if I'm looking at a career change or, any, change or anything like that. It could help to kind of, uh, you know, help you whittle down on what um, is perfect for you. Let's see, supportive, how you communicate, insightful. Yeah, I can see that versus, uh, insightful and inspiring versus informative and concise. <laughs> yeah, not concise, as you can see by some of my videos where I just go on and on, but hopefully you enjoy these, you know, reaction kind of results videos. Cooperator, how you contribute to a team. Yeah, definitely not a task master, more of an empath, uh, improviser. Logical problems. I think I answered a lot of the career options that I was not gonna be analytical. Um, I think I can be, but it's not something that I really enjoy. How you manage tasks and projects, director. Yeah, I can see that. All right, let's see what else it gives us here. Making the most of your personality. Personal strength, altruistic, compassionate. Yeah, so I think these are, these are pretty accurate. I'd read through these. Uh, little organization and drive is excellent. I can see that as, you know, as some of my top uh, things that tend to often come up in Myers-Briggs and Clifton Strengths, you know, the compassionate uh, organization, imaginative forward thinking. Again, if thinking about my Clifton Strengths futuristic there, uh, so that definitely matches. But I don't want to talk too much about it, but for me when I'm taking these tests, it really is important if I'm going to even consider using the results to match it with what I already know. And if, it's, if it is matching, then I take it more seriously and I think it has more um, credibility. And you know, then I'm gonna potentially use it to inform my next decisions. If it's off base or you know, if it's telling me that, eh, yeah, Jordan, you're this analytical person, like you definitely should just sit behind a desk and you know, do accounting. Like, that is absolutely what you're supposed to do. Maybe I would think about it for a second, you know, because I think it's always good to double check, but I would know that that is not what I would like to do. Um, so I can tell pretty quick. <clears throat> that's a good list of personal strength, potential challenges, that's a good section. Uh, others needs ahead of your own, thinking about that. Uh, overwork yourself, I definitely, I used to have that more than I do now, um, but I still can fall into that, just that, you know, over focus of just sitting there for hours and just focused on one task, which can be good, uh, but it also can be bad and stressful. But. Let's look at these career interests, these lists, different options, building, thinking, creating, helping, persuading, organizing. Interesting that persuading got 100%. I must have answered the questions there 100%. I would not have put that that high for me. Definitely I can see creating because I know that about myself. I enjoy writing and putting things into the world. So I'm, I'm, that makes sense. Persuading is interesting. So it describes those a little bit more. Uh, persuading in involves leading, motivating, and influencing others. So I can see that if that is what the definition is, because I want to be motivating and influencing to others. That's really why I write and why I do the things I do. So I can I can see that. And this is cool. It lists all the top interests. Now this is another thing. If you didn't get if you don't get the full report, I think it only lists like the top, and then it starts to gray them out through here. Um, but <clears throat> that's cool. I I have another video. Um, that you can find on my channel that's about finding your own core values. So um, I can see some of these as values, but I would not list these just by looking at them right off the bat. I would not list these as my core values. I think your core values are things that you should decide for yourself. So I wouldn't take too much stock in that, but as things that can help you think about career options that could be a um, potential thing there. Key personality traits, it lists here assertive, confident. I can see confident. Uh, assertive and energetic and ambitious adventures. I don't know, those don't necessarily fit me there, which is kind of strange because the rest of this up here has been seeming to mostly fit. Cool that it lists potential career fields here. I can see that being helpful and I'll just let you look at that for a second. And it lists all these different things for persuaders. So this is great if, you're if, you're, if you really don't know where you're supposed to go and what you're supposed to be doing. This can help you get on the right track and start to think about um, potential interests. And I think, I think that's great. I think that's definitely worth it because for me, you know, career and what you're supposed to be doing and what your purpose is, is all tied to who you are. Uh, and this test is doing that in a really cool way. And I like that. I like that they have different ideas here. They're not saying 
you know, based on these results, you absolutely should be this. It's pop, popping up different things that you can do, um, career for fields, areas of study, and even jobs, and that's pretty cool. We even list career matches for creating and persuading mixed together, which is kind of kind of cool. Uh, I really like that because again, that's like that's an actual. You can see what people are actually doing out there, um, and it's cool that it lists the you know average earnings and different things that you'd be doing for that job. And, and maybe not all these jobs are going to match perfectly with your personality and who you are, uh, but it could be some benef benefits there of looking through this. I just want to scroll down so you can see. Yeah, I can see. Oh, sorry, scroll I got public relations manager. Yeah. Art director, eh, art, you know, uh, sometimes art and writing um, kind of get lumped together too much, I believe, when I think, and I, I think of writing more as like a marketing end, um, so promotion, advertising and promotions manager, maybe that's why that popped up, but producer or director, that's pretty open-ended, what, what is that, I guess, for, for a movie, writer script, yeah, yeah interested in I, I would look into more of that so yeah look look i just said that i would look into more of that have a read more like very very cool very good really enjoying this just overall the, the results you get uh for the money um, you know spending 19 dollars on this if you're looking for a career and looking for a job might be big and that's that's something to consider but it seems like there's a lot of really good information and potential career here's careers here now yeah i wouldn't do it i would not do interior design, graphic design. I put a lot of those questions low, so surprising that came up. Uh, and also it looks like they listed them in order of average earnings, which is kind of cool. Oh, I could do that and make a ton of money. Um, you know, something to think about. Actor, I don't know how you could say average earnings for an actor. That's kind of interesting. Announcer, ooh, that's kind of cool. Oh, I say this is just sales manager, just for persuading, not necessarily creating and persuading. So I like that they listed the top two and put those together. Oh, and there's a helping one there too. I didn't notice that they added those in. Cool. All right, maybe these are just, the rest of this is just a ton of different careers that you could do. Again, which is really cool to think, just to start thinking about all that's out there and they even have a guide in here of different things you can look through, uh, just to try to help. And I think it looks like it's a great place to start. Uh, I just wanna see what else they say here. Just some basic information, uh, core needs, for tasks. Okay, avoiding what you don't like, tasks to avoid. Yeah, I mean, I think a lot of those things I know, maybe maybe if you're looking at a career you don't know some of these things. Um, tasks to avoid being athletic or physical, cool. Cool, Trudy, that's really nice. Yeah, I don't know what that really means, it's weird. We have to pick up a certain amount of pounds, I'm pretty sure I'd be okay with doing that. Interesting, yeah, tasks to avoid, making something tangible, practical, and useful. Okay, yeah, everything I do is not useful. Yeah, so maybe this part's a little bit annoying, but. Um, I'm not gonna take offense to that. I would just skip over it. And good to ask you some questions and it even lists a next step. Um, oh, you can download and print a handy PDF, which I will do because I always save these tests and I do refer back to them when I'm looking through things. So that was long. Overall, hopefully you enjoyed looking through this uh, Truity career test and review. I would suggest that you take it. Uh, it's up to you whether you want to get the full re report and spend $19. But I urge you that if you do the test and especially if you pay for it, utilize it, print it out, uh, start to look up these different career options and, and these jobs. Uh, base it off of what you know your strengths are and what your personality is. Use it um, and just really get active with it. Um, if you're looking at a new career, Start to look into these, some of these careers, maybe even apply for some of these jobs, or just look at what you would need to do to get these jobs. Talk to someone that's in some of those jobs. Um, so often with these tests and things, we can stop um, as we get the results without actually taking any action and using them. So it's super important. So do not forget that part. I, I mean, you can do whatever you want, but I've known and I've found that in my own life and for other people that that really does help. And that's where people most often get stuck. So use it, print it out. Just start to think about ideas for you and your career. And otherwise, if you need any help, email me, jordan at jmring.com. I'm always available and I'm happy to answer any questions you might have. Like this video, subscribe to this channel for more videos like these. Otherwise, have a great day. We'll talk soon.